Last weekend, the biggest stars on the LPGA Tour headed to Singapore for the annual HSBC Women's Champions at Sentosa's Serapong Course. Among them was Hall of Famer and 2011 champion Kari Webb, who's just started her 19th year on the tour. The 39-year-old Australian sat down for a chat with Golfing World ahead of the tournament that is known as Asia's Major. The game of golf is growing in, in Asia and, uh, you know, I think uh, the LPGA has been growing with, with that growth. Um, you know, so playing in Asia at the beginning of the year and finishing the year pretty much in Asia um, is, is important to the LPGA. Webb arrived in Singapore for a tournament with one of the strongest fields of the year after making the perfect start to the term. On her seasonal debut, Kari won the Women's Australian Open for a record fifth time, in the process claiming a 40th career victory on the LPGA Tour. At the beginning of the year, I, I never know which Kari Webb's going to show up, so uh, it, was, um, it was really nice to, to be within striking distance on Sunday and then with the wind picking up I knew I had a better chance than I would have if it hadn't have been windy and the fact that I ended up winning was was a real special moment. Starting five shots off the lead, Kari quickly took advantage of her many years of experience playing on Melbourne's world-renowned sandbelt courses. By the turn she was right in contention and two holes later she had charged to the head of the field. Pot I made on 11, you're not, you're not expecting to make that. You're just hoping that you don't have to work too hard on the second one. So um, for that to go in, um, I hadn't even looked at a leaderboard for a few holes. So when I looked up after I made that and saw I was tied for the lead, I knew I needed to get into the clubhouse, you know, at least one shot better, which is what I ended up doing. This year's tournament venue, the Victoria Golf Club, is also the home course to five-time Open champion Peter Thompson. After a nervous wait for the overnight leaders to finish, Aussie Open number five was hers, giving Curry a nice piece of symmetry with her fellow Hall of Famer. I've gotten to know Peter quite well over the years and he's always been so complimentary about my game and about me and um, he's such a sweetheart and he came up to me on 18 before presentations and said, um, welcome to the five timers club. So it's always nice to, to join such a legend of the game. So with yet another LPGA trophy on the mantle to go along with seven major championships and another 12 wins internationally, the question has to be asked, what still drives one of the greatest golfers of all time to want to come back out on tour year after year? Just the feeling that I had on the Sunday of the Australian Open. Um, that's, that's why I still play, because um, whether I win or lose in that situation, I just love that situation. Um, I love how quiet, honestly, my mind is at the most quiet when I, when I feel good that I have a good chance, um, which sounds crazy, but um, that's my comfort zone, I think, and I just enjoy the challenge of trying to win a golf tournament. The former world number one has seen a lot of changes in and around the LPGA since her rookie season way back in 1996. As she gets closer towards the end of her career, Kari's pretty impressed with the current state of ladies golf and how far it's come in almost two decades as a professional. There's more athletes out here now. You know, I think, um, you know, you look at the Suzanne Pedersons and the Stacey Lewis's, um, they probably would have been really good at other sports as well if that's what they'd chosen to do. Um, and so it's just a lot more athletic. Girls have, girl, you know, there's most girls out here that haven't even seen a wooden driver. Someone who wasn't even born the last time Persimmon Woods were used regularly in professional golf is 16 year old Lydia Ko. The Kiwi took the golfing world by storm with a series of spectacular performances as an amateur before turning pro towards the end of 2013. Well, it's hard for me to give her advice because I can't ever imagine winning a professional golf tournament at 15. Um, so, but I, you know, I hope these girls that turn pro at such a young age have a 20-year career or a 25-year career, and we're, we're still seeing them in their late 30s and, and 40s. That longevity is something Webb has successfully achieved. She'll turn 40 at the end of this year. And luckily for her legion of fans in Australia and all around the world, she has a pretty important reason to keep teeing it up. The 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. 
that's keeping me out here, I think. Um, you know, I'm a bit of a sports nut, so um, the Olympics has always been um, an event that I love watching, and, and to even think now that I have a chance of being a part of that is very special, and you know, it's something I never thought I'd ever have a chance of doing. So from now until then, you know, I'm looking at a full full international schedule, and then, then I'll see where I'm at. Um, I'll be almost 42 by then, so um, we'll see what happens after that.